I'm Chris Fox, and this is Making Chips. So today we're at an event uh, with Fusion OEM, and uh, I guess we're talking cobots. You know, manufacturing is gonna shrink, and what that really means is that the businesses that are operating in it are gonna get smaller. There's more artisan manufacturers and there's smaller manufacturers that have fewer employees. So it's not about the big name manufacturers anymore. It's about companies being able to be agile, being able to be efficient, and make the products that people need. In all honesty, that's where cobots come in. So hey, today uh, we are at the Fusion OEM event. We're talking about uh, productivity in the machine shop floor. Uh, we're talking about universal robots, cobots, uh, all sorts of automation solutions that will help you with your manufacturing process. So today we're talking about uh, um, automation, specifically collaborative robots. The collaborative robots are the, uh, the more friendly version of industrial robots that you've seen in the past. And they're very easy to program and they're safe to operate around people. Um, a lot of the machine shops that we're dealing with are doing high mix and low volume uh, applications, so they might be running a job for only a couple of days. Traditional industrial robots are very hard and cumbersome to program, but collaborative robots, you can get it up and running in a, in a few hours. So people tend to gravitate toward more a, uh, toward a collaborative solution more than industrial robots because they could literally take the robot mover from different CNC equipment or different presses within the same day, right? Right? So that's why it's becoming more and more attractive and you know small shops that are doing high mix and low volume. My name is Carson Weaver with FPE Automation. I'm the Robotic Solutions Manager. The reason that a lot of our customers are choosing to use light-duty collaborative robots instead of the traditional industrial robots would be the flexibility and the ease of use. So uh, a lot of our customers would consider themselves um, high-mix, low-volume manufacturers. So that didn't typically resonate with uh, traditional automation. So collaborative robots are easy to deploy by non-robot users. So think of if you can use an iPhone, you can probably deploy one of these collaborative robots. It's been designed in a way that allows even non-robot users to take the control of the robot and have it do something beneficial for you. So a lot of our customers don't have an automation team dedicated just to the use of uh, deploying robots, but utilizing this easy to use uh, robot interface, they can leverage these robots in the same way that traditional industrial robot users have been using them for decades. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and uh, stay tuned because there's plenty more chips to come, and if you're not making chips, you're not making money.